What I envisioned when I first looked at Journey of the Broken Circle was a simple platformer with fleeting themes of human connection, told through the story of an oddly shaped circle. After playing it, the first of those things does hold true, it is a simple platformer, but as it turns out, themes of relationships won and lost are far more prevalent than I anticipated, as the game digs deep into its protagonist's emotions while it searches for connection. Those themes, conveyed through the life of a simple circular being, certainly have their ups and downs. The metaphor itself is about as cliché as they come. The circle is missing a piece of itself, literally, and longs to be completed. It's a simple allegory that's indicative of the writing as a whole. That said, it does handle some relatively heavy themes, though it's nothing that hasn't been tackled before and nothing that hasn't been tackled better. So while it does do justice to its main focus, the story of a character longing for connection with all the speed bumps that entails, it handles other themes with less respect. The attempt to tackle mental health issues is admirable, and it does tie in with the game's narrative nicely enough, but it's tough to take a scene where two characters discuss suicide seriously when there's little appropriate build-up to it. It's only after the concept is untidily brought up that the themes of mental health issues manifested in a sort of dark spirit take centre stage. The symbolism certainly holds up better when used in a gameplay context. One of Circle's partners, for instance, Balloon, begins to feel deflated, both figuratively and literally. It's on the nose, sure, but it gives the gameplay some variety and puts narrative weight behind the changeup. Each of the characters provide different platforming challenges, like an obstacle course of spikes to navigate with the balloon, and walls to climb with… whatever the sticky one is, and none overstay their welcome. The only constant throughout the game is the Pac-Man shaped protagonist. Unlike its yellow counterpart, however, Circle prefers mushrooms over cherries. I'm not talking about poor bellows either, these mushrooms are of the psychedelic variety. Magic mushrooms, if you will. Collect enough of them and the twisted minds at Lovable Hack Cult have prepared for you some bonus levels, starting with an ode to getting over it with Bennett Foddy, a brutal platforming challenge where one must scale a sheer cliff face with nothing but a sledgehammer to swing. Um, the other bonus level is questionable in nature and theme. It involves Circle and all of its partners at the same time and, well, let's just say if you plan on letting your kids play this game, they might have some difficult questions for you to answer. Which brings me to the question I'm not sure how to answer. Who exactly is this game for? The writing and shape suggest children would be the appropriate audience, but adult references, while perhaps subtle enough to go over a younger player's head, still seem a tad overabundant. That's not to say the game doesn't have its charms, however, where simple platforming challenges leave much to be desired, an engaging and well-told story conveys some interesting themes and are enough to keep an audience of all ages engaged. Mm -hmm. 